So we were on our way to Kilkerran Castle, um, which is just not too far away from here. And I spotted a really nice little uh, spot to take a picture of. So we had to park our car down there uh, by the parking place inside of the road and then walk up. And it's actually just close by here. This is actually really nice. Calm down, dude. No. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. We were walking on the side of the road in a car honked and she got scared. So she's mad at me now. So as you can tell, we're back in Glasgow, well, Scotland. Today we're checking out Kilkern Castle, which is in this beautiful, it's probably not even called that, but it's in this awesome, beautiful little area here. I was kind of I was slightly shitting myself on the way here because it was like a sunny day and I don't want dad photographs But luckily Look at that fucking mountains covered with cloud. Look at how still the water is as well It's perfect for like a reflection gram. So anyways, the castle is just down that way. We were up there in that vantage point and the mm. The view is just horrible. It was so shit um, And you know it's shit because there was a tourist bus there that's when you know you should stay away from that area. So we're gonna go down here, check out the castle, and try and get some cool pictures, like reflection stuff, so. <laughs> so we found this little path here. Whoa! Look! It's a train! So we found this little path here, which is most likely where everyone else goes to try and get this reflection picture. It's rather wet. Oh my God. It's very, very marshy. I'd laugh if there's a path right at the end there which takes you straight there. <laughs> just pee. Fucking hell, everywhere we go, you don't pee, just pee, go. There's no one here. Right, she tried to pee for the seventh time and decided not to. You're gonna piss your pants. Oh, it's a wee now, it'll come back if I All right, we're going back, cause uh, <laughs> Yeah, I think it just gets even more marshier. How the fuck? You know what? We're not going back home today till we figure out how these people yeah, have gotten this picture. We're gonna get this picture one way or another. There must be a way, dude. Like every... Okay, look. Can you see there? Right there. See that blue thing there? It looks like that. That looks like a tent or something. So this is... See when, when we want a, like one picture for Instagram. This is the mission that we have to go through right we come here to this castle not to look at it i mean we're gonna go in and look at it since we're here anyways but like trying to find that vantage point it takes a long time for that one fucking picture that probably only gets me 120 likes because you guys aren't following me on instagram so yeah follow my instagram uh link down below <laughs> i wish there was like some sort of bridge or something that would just go from here to there you know just to let all of you guys know, I'm sporting my uh, my white as fuck Nike Air Force Ones in this terrible terrain. Once again. My, I hear ducks. I hear ducks. How's this, how's the pee situation? <laughs> See just there, that's where she's peeing. All right, we're gonna go inside real quick and check it out. Kind of upset about something else as well. The uh, the water here is not like um, still anymore. It's kind of like there's ripples, so you won't get a reflection shot, which kind of upsets me a little bit. Yo, someone's getting like like wedding shots up there. This here is a castle. Yeah, interesting. Definitely needs like a plasma screen TV and some Wi-Fi. Oh, see, like a day after leg day. This is very, very difficult to do. Alright, we have left. Uh, gonna go find this vantage point now. Try and get this picture. How do you find that castle? That was... It smelled bad. Smelled like... I think, I think someone farted and just left like a trail of fart, in my opinion. <laughs> like, you know when you... F like, if you need a fart, you go into your room, right? And then you come out, but then the smell you doesn't do start coming out till you get to the living room, so it's like a trail. Kind of like that. Also, some exciting news. This is like four months down the line. 
In fact, no, let me tell you about some exciting news like a week down the line. Uh, the music video that, that I did for Honor is going to be out uh, in like a week today, actually. And in a couple of days, a video I did for the BBC Social is about to hit a million views on YouTube, which is pretty dope. Collectively made of hit a million, but not one. Hers? Million. Dude, two of her fucking videos, like, collectively have hit like a million, so. Yeah, you're just being modest, you, you little famous. One, you little famous. Better. You famous, famous. I'm dating a famous chick. You're famous because you got one on one video. And you're getting all those DMs from people saying how I they fancy I got one guy you. going, hi. You have a Glasgow accent, I like it. No, another guy says, I'm in love with Rebecca. Yeah, in the comment. Yeah. But they don't know it. Look me. at that, bro. Yo, guys, I got a really fucking dope picture of her wearing the Carhartt beanie. So, if uh, anyone at Carhartt is interested in me photographing for them. And sponsoring me and giving me clothes. Yeah, and giving us free shit. That would be greatly appreciated because I am close to buying a 145 pound fucking Carhartt jacket. And uh, I really don't want to spend that much money. Alright, round two. We're going to try now and get to that path down there. Look at what I did. Look. Look at this. Oh, I didn't lose pallets. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All for a fucking picture, man. Honestly, dude, the only thing I'm worried about is if the clouds just part ways and the sun comes out. That is really the last thing I want to happen. We got it, baby. Bam. And look, little bad boy right here chilling. Here's something I really don't understand, okay? So we're here and we're getting like a landscape photo of that castle, right? So, you know, you need a wide lens, like maybe 10 millimeter, fucking 35 millimeter, 25 millimeter. But then these bad photographers here, they have the 200 millimeter lens. Like, what are you, as Rebecca was saying, what are you trying to get a photo of? Oh, they're all friends. See, when you come to a place like this to get a picture of that, you need to make sure you go to every single, like, like angle and get as many photos as possible. Because although we've been taking pictures here, we may get the best picture over there. I think this is the best picture here. Just got, I know, I think so as well. Man, look at how beautiful that looks. It is just such a shame that these people with their most extremely high-vis jackets have decided to ruin that view. Look at that, man. Look at that. Look at all of this, dude. Holy shit. Yeah. So much dedication. Yeah. She was just so excited to come here that she left everything in her car. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot get enough of this view. This is actually stunning. For once in my life, I wish I had a tripod. Hey. 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 Wait a second. The Joby. Right, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to take a very long exposure photo. All right, so to try and get everything completely like still um, so that it's like a perfect reflection, I need to take a long exposure. So I've got the camera on a Joby here and I got the shutter on one fourth of a second and I've also got self timer so that there's no shakiness so that's a 10 second self timer and we should get a very still photo a very very still photo there we go so now I'm gonna set my ISO at ISO 60 uh, 50 because I've got it on like 0 0.5 whatever the fuck that's called and it should be even more still see you don't need a big ass like tripod and a crazy ass lens man to take these dope photos i'm actually pretty ecstatic now that i got my shot look at this here i i just can't get over it i'm really sorry guys for just like orgasming over this but this is what I live for. This is the, this is the life, dude. In fact, I should have invited my sister because I told her last time that I'd bring her out when we go somewhere like this. <laughs> Sorry, Iman. If you guys don't have a tripod or a Joby when you're trying to do these things, Rebecca's gonna explain to you how you do it without any of those stuff. All right, so what do you do? Okay, you take your camera. It doesn't always work, it's not 100% foolproof, but it works if you're in a struggle. 
So then you take your arm, put one arm on your shoulder, like hand on your shoulder, and then the other arm here, and just sort of hold it very steady. That's actually a bloody good idea. But you need to take like a lot in a row so that you'll have. Okay, thank you! Just in time as well because the sun's starting to come out. It is. That lady there, she owns this land that we're standing on and all that land there as well. How freaking cool is that? Okay, so are we going to get attacked by a ram <laughs> or not? Uh, let us oh. know in the comment section below. I don't like this. <laughs> Alright, we're back in the car, but i got to show you guys something real quick before I end this vlog. Have you guys ever seen a tree fall down? Look at this, this is an entire tree and it's just fallen from like the roots or what have you not. How fucking crazy is that? Yeah, I wanna show you guys that. Hey!